I'm using a model SK-1 sensor to count labels on this machine. And it's looking for the gap between the labels. Right in here. Right now I'm on a label and when I'm on a label there is no light showing here in the, in the indicator light area, but as I come on to the gap, that green light turns on, and as I go past that gap, the green light turns off again because I'm back on the label. Now, the right way to set the sensitivity is to set the scanner so that it's looking at the gap in between two labels, press and release the teach button, the red indicator light will blink, and when it turns green again, it has learned the transparency of the liner material and the, also the effects of the adjacent labels. You can train it on, the get, on the, a place where there is no label, where the label's been removed, but it's not as accurate as training it in between labels. Now sometimes the system gets messed up and does not show you when you're moving the web back and forth um, where, the, uh, where that gap is to help you center it up. So I'm going to readjust this sensor right now temporarily to show that. I'm training it now just in plain air and when I drop the sensor back down onto the label even though the gap is going through there, now you can see that it is not able to find the gap between the labels. So you can visually line it up and retrain it. And now it's working again. And when we go across the label itself, there should be nothing, the printed marks should not turn that LED back on, but when I come across the gap, it should turn green again. Now if you, again, have this trained and you just can't find that gap and you want to, then the best thing to do is to peel a label back, bring the sensor down, train it on the liner, And then you can put the label back and now you'll be able to find the center of that gap again. And even though it's probably okay, once I've found the center, go ahead and retrain it one more time in the gap between labels. And like I said, when you, uh, you don't want to see any blinking of the light while the label is present. So if you wiggle it around and it's blinking, it needs to be retrained again. But once it comes across that gap, um, it, it'll come on indicating that it's seeing uh, the, entire, the entire gap. If you should observe that the sensor has both a red and a green LED illuminated at the same time. That's an indication that the sensor is locked and it needs to be unlocked. We never recommend locking the sensor because each label job is going to require potentially a different setting. And then once it gets locked like this, even if you try to retrain it uh, in the gap between labels, uh, it just is not possible. To get it unlocked, you need to push and hold the button for five seconds, five to seven seconds, until the red light goes off, and now it's ready to be retrained again. So I can now retrain it on this gap, and the red light, of course, will blink. When it turns green, it has now learned the label.